Okay guys, so in today's lesson we are just going to calculate a depreciation using a straight line method. So please make sure you listen all the video so that you will understand the process. Okay, I have a two examples with me that we are going to use to try to calculate a straight line method so that you can be able to calculate this method in any case that you are going to face in accounting. Okay, let's check the information first. They said ABC entity finance year end 31 December 2020. Okay, then we know that our reporting period is ending 31 December 2020, which means that our financial year started 1 January 2020. Remember, our financial year must have a 12 months. So when it comes to depreciation, guys, it's very, very important to know your accounting period. Why? Because in some cases, you will be required to calculate a month so you must be able to know when it started and when it's going to end okay then we have um, two assets that we are going to use to calculate our depreciation number one we have been given equipment cost price and we also have been given equipment accumulated depreciation and the other one they say is a vehicle cost that has been bought on 1 January 2020 apology about this is 2020 okay so our vehicle was bought during the year on our current period that we are doing now which means that in this case we will be required to complete a month because this vehicle was not here for the whole year okay now uh, let's first check our method that we're going to use to calculate the depreciation of course in this uh, video we are going to deal with a straight line okay Equipment use a straight line method to, be, to depreciate at the 20% per annum, which means that we are going to use a straight line method that I'm going to explain how it works. Okay, number two, they say the vehicle use straight line method to depreciate at 25% per annum. All right, so when we talk about a straight line method, simply means that when we calculate our depreciation, we have to use only a cost price. It doesn't matter how long we have an asset. We have to use a cost price to calculate our depreciation. Remember when we deal with diminishing balance method or carrying value method, we have to use a carrying amount to calculate a depreciation. Okay? That is uh, that is for another video for diminishing balance method that you will find it on this channel. Alright. Now let's first calculate number one they said we have to calculate a depreciation for both assets number two we are going to do a general entries all right now let's start by calculating a depreciation let's start by the one for equipment remember the principle of straight line method said we have to use what a cost price okay now let's do for equipment okay let me draw this side number one is gonna be for equipment Equipment cost price that we have is 500,000. How we have to find a rate? Remember, we read the information and they said equipment use a straight line method to depreciate at 20%. Okay, which means that we have to multiply by 20 over 100. Then it's going to give us an amount of 100,000. Alright guys, in some situation, you will find that instead of 20%, they said it's going to depreciate using a 5 years. Guys, if they said a 5 years, is the same as 20%. If they said 4 years, is the same as 25%. You have to know that. If you do a 500,000 divided by 5, Yes, it's going to give you a hundred thousand. So it's the same whether they give you a year or they give you a percentage. But if they give you a year, make sure that you just divide. But a percentage, you multiply and divide by hundred, which is going to give you the same answer. Okay, now let's go to vehicle. Vehicle, they say we use a straight line method and 25%. Okay, straight line method is the same principle we have to use a cost price without involving accumulated depreciation okay which means that for vehicle 
we are going to say the cost price is 300,000 multiplied by 25 percent but remember guys remember we said that when we deal with uh, assets that has been bought during the year we have to count a month we have to start from the date of purchase until the end of the year which means that from june to december is going to be june july august september october november december is going to be a seven months but if they said 30 june you count from july you don't count june because it's already month's end okay in this case it starts from one which means that it's going to be seven okay you just say multiply by seven out of 12. i think this amount is going to give you 37,000. I can direct. Simple as that, guys. This is how you should calculate using a straight line method. Now, number two, they said we have to prepare a general entry. Okay, this is how you prepare a general entry. Okay, now let's look at this. Remember, our general entry must have a debit and credit. Okay, this is how we are going to do it. Okay, let's start with the first one for equipment. You have to debit a depreciation. And credit accumulated depreciation. And the amount is going to be 100,000, 100,000. Why do we debit depreciation? All expenses. At initial stage, we have to debit them, which means that the other one, of course, we have to do it to credit. We credit accumulated depreciation because it is reducing the value of assets, and you know that under our assets, on the credit side, is a minus because of the debit is a plus. Okay, then we do the same on the second one depreciation and accumulated. Depreciation. Okay, in that case, we get amount of thirty-seven five hundred thirty-seven five hundred. So this is how you should calculate a straight line method. If you, this video helped you guys, please make sure that you like it. Also subscribe to this channel so that it can grow and grow like other YouTube uh, channels, guys. Thank you so much. If you are looking for accumulated, uh, how to calculate a diminishing balance method, please make sure that you check on my video list because I'm going to do a diminishing balance method as well. See you next time.